Hello guys, Deb here with Art and Grace. Come on in. Apologize for being late this morning. Um, Y'all come on in though. I am here and ready. I'm getting this pulled up on the iPad so you can see me. And happy Monday. We're going to do some fun art for you guys. So to hopefully cheer up your little Monday and help it to go a little better. Come on in. Oh, good. Hi, Tana. Hi, Brooke. Glad you're here, girls. You guys sprinkle me out. I would appreciate it. Tracy is going to get me transferred over into the Craft Around the Clock group. And I am super happy to be here with you guys. So if you're watching me from Craft Around the Clock, let me know. I always like to see if anybody is finding me from that group. Hello, hello. Hi, Anna. Hi, Tammy. Good morning to you guys. Hi, Tracy. Thank you for transferring me over. How are you today? Hopefully you had a good weekend and got a little rest. Hello, Tammy. Thank you for the stars already. Why do y'all do that when I haven't even done a thing yet? Y'all are so sweet. <laughs> Hi, Tita from Plano. Gosh, we are neighbors. And my son's girlfriend lives in Plano. He's over in Addison. So glad to have you guys this morning. Y'all let me know where you're watching from. I always do enjoy seeing where you're watching from. You know, I love painting on these wood palettes. They are fantastic surfaces and it kind of elevates your art. This, what I'm gonna show you today, you can do if you have never held a paintbrush, I promise. So come on in, take a little break and we're gonna do some fun art. Yes, we are neighbors. Hi, Mary, Good. how are you today? I always say good morning because it's really still morning here, but I know where you you guys are, maybe afternoon. Hello, Colleen, it's definitely morning in California. Glad y'all are here. Hello, Beth from Orlando, that's awesome. How's the temperature there? I bet it's really pretty. We have had you know, already close, I mean like 95 and all of that. So we are so over the heat, but I hear that a little bit of relief is coming, um, but we're kind of, ner everybody's nervous of what it's gonna be like this summer. They're already telling us, you know, we don't know if we can handle you guys all on the grid or whatever. So we're all nervous about not having air this summer because it's happened, happened last summer. We had a big debacle and evidently they have not done what they promised, so. We're all kind of nervous. <laughs> Hi, Maria. Oh, thanks. I just love hats. I I finally gave in and, and started wearing them, you know, live. I wear them all the time, but I never had worn them live just because I felt like, you know, they were so casual and everything. But, I mean, we just wear them here in Texas. We do. Everybody does. And it's just so hot and humid that, you know, they're really just kind of a staple around here. So I'm just getting a base coat on this uh, wood palette. Now grab any piece of wood you have. If you have something in your garage that you've used part of, or you might want to sand it off and repaint something, um, you don't have to actually purchase a palette like I did, but um, they're just really great. They're ready to go. Oh, thank you so much. I don't know about that, but I appreciate you saying it. <laughs> You're ready for warm weather. Oh, wow. Brooke, 40? That is crazy. I can't believe that when we're so hot. That is, wow. I mean, yeah. We, are, we would be happy to share our warmth with you guys. I hope you're having a good Monday, Lori. Oh, yes, we, we definitely keep everybody in our prayers. And, you know, uh, things that are great about our groups like this one is you pop in here and tell us you're having storms or something, and you will have, I mean, I dare say 20 people right at that moment praying for you, and um, at least. So we have lots of sweet prayer warriors in our craft groups. Um, so that is, that's awesome. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and dry this real fast and then we will get started. I'm gonna show you how to draw, um, an easy way to kind of draw this design out. Let me tell you that, I mean, I can teach a 10 year old to do this, so I can teach you. I can teach you. Oh my gosh, Brooke, are you, and that's Oregon, is that right? Oh my 
my gosh. Hi, Rita. Brent, we are neighbors. I'm in South Fort Worth. So, good morning. Hi, Debbie. You're up early for California, aren't you? You sleep late because you're up late, right? Oh, Mary, so am I. Thank you for bringing it up, you guys. I am doing my third annual Alzheimer's event. It's an art and craft event, so lots of your favorite crafters will be in there. And we're going to be giving free tutorials for, you know, uh, in, in support and to raise awareness and, of course, funds for the Alzheimer's Association. And it is such an honor for me to do. It's a way to, you know, honor my mom and then to really help out with just people going through it currently. So just because I'm over that part of my life and she has, I say, won the battle, even though she lost to Alzheimer's, she won because she's with Jesus. So she is 100% healed and perfect, and I'm so happy for her. And I'll get to see her again, but I know how many thousands and thousands are suffering right now, and that means their family members are suffering. So I don't want them to feel alone. So by doing an event like this, we can show them they're not alone. So if you or anyone you know has been affected by dementia or Alzheimer's, you're gonna wanna be a part of this event. You're going to want to be, hi, Christy. Oh, Mary, how sad. Well, I know you'll be a good support, a good friend. And 80 in Vermont, Lisa. 35 degrees, Bridget. Wow. Yeah, you're up there. Okay. That's crazy, though. Okay, guys, I know I'm going to miss a few comments, and I'll go back and read them all. We got almost 70 friends. Can we get to 100? That's my goal, is to get over 100, because I know, I know, if nothing else, they need to hear about the All Summers event, and also, I want everybody to go to the link in my description and go to Craft Around the Clock and support all the creators. We have so many fantastic people in there. I think I'm going to have to draw this facing me. So, um, y'all forgive me for turning it to me. I'm just using chalk because I can still see it with my chalk on this paint. But I'm going to kind of come in here and do, let's call this a V, okay? So, you probably can't see. What if I use a pencil? I'll do it. Y'all, I don't like to draw in pencil because if I mess up. So, but if I draw in pencil, even though it's upside down, you can see this, right? So, y'all let me know if you can see once I do this in pencil. So I'm gonna draw, let's call this a V, right? So that's all it is, is just a V, kind of a curved V. Now we're gonna do another V. This V will face you, right? So that's a V facing you. And then we're gonna kind of do a little circle. So just a little, sort of a circle. And then we're gonna bring it around into like a, Are we there? Because it's telling me we're, did y'all get a glitch? It showed a glitch to me. I'm so sorry. Can y'all see that? So did y'all see it? Y'all let me know because when I looked up, it was like black. <sighs> Is it uh, Millie? Or wait, not Millie. What's her name? I went blank. Oh, I'm so sorry, Shalon. It's such an awful, day. it really is, Melinda, yes. So you guys... Y'all join with me. We can do it together. We can help people. So did y'all see the design? Okay, so hopefully you did. I'm not seeing comments yet. And then I'm going to come in here and let's draw fingers, okay? So let's just draw some straight lines like fingers. I like to break down paintings so that they are easy for you. Yeah, I keep freezing. Oh, I'm so sorry. Y'all stick with me. Um, it's Facebook glitching. Hi, Ann. It's, it's typically not anything we can do. It's just happening a lot right now. They continue to make changes and updates, and we're all dealing with it. I'm so sorry, though, because that's frustrating. And then all I'm going to do is those and make little, um, you know, leaves. We're going to do some, like, palm leaves. So we're just gonna kind of bring these down. I'm 
like this. Okay, so like that. If anybody has any suggestions for how I can keep it from glitching, let me know. Oh, okay, no problem. Um, it is a flamingo, Phyllis. Yeah, I see that it's blurry. Does anybody have any suggestions for me? Tracy, are you on here? Or anybody that can tell me? Oh, Tiza, I'm so sorry. Absolutely, we will. Absolutely, I'm so sorry. That's so awful. Very blurry. What if I take it off of Wi-Fi? Y'all bear with me. Let's try. Let's try taking it off of Wi-Fi. Don't leave. Let's see if this works. Do y'all tell me if it helped, if you can still see me, all the good things. And I'm looking for some comments just to see if it helped. Yours isn't blurry. Good. Oh, good. Okay, so that did it. Needed to get off Wi-Fi maybe. It is Facebook, Cecile. I know. I just was hoping maybe the face or getting off of that would help. Oh, goodness. Well, I'm sorry. Now we're down to 47, so y'all are going to have to help me get back up. What the heck? Oh, goodness. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do this fun design, guys. We can do it. We can do it. I know, Brooke. It's so frustrating, you know? Okay, so let's get our background going. Okay, good. Thank you. If you guys would please sprinkle me out, it would really help because this is what we're dealing with and this is why our pages are suffering. So it would sure help if you don't mind sprinkling it. Um, maybe we can get some of our friends back. I know it's you want to give up when you are watching somebody and that happens, but we sure need y'all. We do. It is a Flamingo Debbie. It's gonna be so cute. Flamingo and some, I am going into my Bahama blue with some white and we're gonna just go ahead and get a background going. Um, this is a large brush, so I'll have to go in with a smaller one, but to cover ground, the large brush will help me. So I'll go back with my smaller brush and get in the, the little grooves, but I'm using a little bit of white with it just to lighten it up so it's not too dark. I like really bright colors, and for summer, this is a really fun one. This would be great on your front door in a wreath or on your back porch would be super cute, or just, you know, anywhere in your home to bring in some summer fun. Oh, good. So that, thank you, Mary. I appreciate it. And Michelle, thank you guys so much for sprinkling. Thank you, Marilyn. Are you serious, Vicki? I wear it all the time and I've never had that happen. That's so odd. Y'all tell me if it's better or if we're still having issues. This is Bahama Blue. I love this color. It's by Deco. Oh, whoops. I'm sorry. Seabreeze. This is Seabreeze that I grabbed. Ooh, it's very close to Bahama Blue. Bahama Blue is a little more blue, actually. This is a little greener, but they're both very similar bright summer colors. Let me see if I've got my Bahama Blue. I do. This is the Bahama Blue, so you can see um, it is more blue, but bright, really bright pretty colors. And now that I'm looking at it, yeah, it is more green than I realized, but I love this color. I actually use both of these uh, a lot in the summer. So let's see, much better, don't worry. Okay, thank you so much. I was worried. I definitely was thinking, what do I do? You hate to see, you know, when you have the numbers up and then all of a sudden you lose half, 
you know, that's scary. Because what that tells Facebook is this lady's no good. Don't show her video. I'm not kidding. That's the truth. When our numbers go down like that, Facebook will stop showing us to other people. So even people who follow me won't know that I'm on. And that's really um, sad. <laughs> it's, it's hard. So thank you to each one of you who has sprinkled me out. And we are going to work on this Facebook issues together, right? Because it is affecting a lot of us creators. So just going in between these um, little leaves that we're going to do, it doesn't have to be perfect because once I paint the leaves, it will cover any mistakes. So I'm obviously doing this upside down and not worrying if I'm perfect because we will get it all cleaned up when we do our leaves. So I'm showing you an easy way to do a whimsical painting that's stress-free. So if you, um, you know, need some, a way to relieve stress, just a couple of hours of art is known to lower blood pressure which is amazing. Now, I'm not saying don't take your meds, but I'm saying it is a fantastic thing to do if you are prone to stress. So, uh, stick with me and I'll show you lots of easy things to paint. And you'll be surprised. You will feel so good. And some of you guys do paint all the time and you can attest how nice it is. <laughs> Thank you guys. Look at all of you that are sprinkling. I appreciate you so much. Thank you, Linda. I'm glad you're here. Thank you, Paula. Everybody. Oh my goodness. Anna, this is a deco art brush. It's a round, um, it doesn't even have a number on it. It's very small. I bought a set of their brushes. So it just came in the set. They weren't expensive. It's, you know, a great price and they're good brushes. I, I don't have any complaints. Um, they're not, you know, my 100% favorites, but I'm, I'm pretty picky about brushes. I really am. I expect a lot out of my brushes because they really do make a difference. I hear a lot of people that say they don't. They do. They make a difference. You will not get as good a results if you're using the wrong brush or bad brushes. There's one from the Dollar Tree that I do like, <laughs> but 99% of them I don't. You know, they just, they don't last at all and they're just not good quality. So it's okay in a pinch and I use them every now and then in a pinch, but for a few dollars more, you can get a set and if you take care of them, they'll last you a good long time. Okay, so just kind of getting this filled in, and now we'll go to our leaves. I do like having a little bit of, like, texture on here. So that's why I have my white out, and I'll just kind of come in and do this in the background. Just do some kind of crosshatch patterns to get a little bit of texture, and it kind of gives you a cloud look to have some white in here. It is cutting out. Oh, Phyllis, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry to lose people. I don't, I wish I could fix it. It, it hurts. It hurts to see that, but I can't do one thing about it, unfortunately. All right, guys. Well, whoever's brave with me to stay, thank you, thank you. I appreciate so much because I know it's a hassle to, to watch when it's glitchy. You're picky with brushes, Paula? Yeah. Oh, you can, don't say that. You can paint this good. This is an easy one. I love to show you guys some easy ones so that you guys who are really crafters and don't paint a lot, you will be able to do this. I love to, you know, just expose more people to painting because it just opens up a world of fun. <laughs> it really does. Um, I wash out my brushes with a little bit of, like, I mean a little bit of Dawn dishwashing liquid and warm water, not hot. Don't ever use, like, really, really hot water on your brushes um, unless you're trying to reshape them and just for a second. You don't want to do it long term because 
it will melt the glue that is in here in the um, ferrule. So don't use real hot water. Don't let them sit in hot water. If you want to clean them off real good and get them reshaped, you can dip it down into the hot water, but try not to dip this part. Does that make sense? Thank you. Well, we're not, we're not very far along yet, but thank you so much. Okay, let me get a little bit of this lime kind of green. I like to have three colors of greens. Thank you, Monica, um, out on my palette. And so I'm gonna dip it into that dark green and then the light green next. And we're just gonna come in here and do a swoop of the leaf. And I try not to do a whole lot so that you can see the, the greens. Now remember I said we're gonna, if I go over like that, it's okay because we're gonna come in and paint that flamingo, which will cover any mistake I make. So I don't have to worry about being so careful. And you're just letting your brush do the work. This is another round brush, number five. Uh, it's a deco art. So if you buy other brands, their five might be different than this five. So keep that in mind, but. <laughs> Hi, Dina. Girl, I'm having the hardest time this morning. We had good numbers, and then Facebook got glitchy, and everybody left. I don't know what to do about that. I don't, I did take it off of Wi-Fi just to see if that would help, but I tell you, Facebook is not helping me today. If I have any sisters out there that can share, that would be fantastic. Ooh, I shouldn't have said that. Ooh, that'll be another against me um, so anyway I'm just coming in here Dina this is one you can totally do Dina is a good painter she doesn't know it but she is because the very first time she painted my flowers she did them as good as I do and uh, so she's got that natural talent that she doesn't realize she has so you guys if you follow Dina uh, you you keep on her to keep painting because she is talented and can do it Okay, so there's our first little poem. And then we're going to come in here and do this next one. <laughs> the eclipse, hey, maybe. I don't know. Nothing that can be done. It stinks, doesn't it? It stinks. Oh, somebody gave me stars. Thank you. Um, I think that's new. I'll go back. I always go back. I want to get this finished before my time is up, but I do always go back and answer any questions and say thank you. You guys don't have to do that, and I so appreciate that you choose to. Just coming right up to this. Now, this little part of the beak will be black, so I can go right over my line, and it doesn't matter. That's the nice thing about this type of painting is there's no stress. It just, you just get it on here. You see that my brush is really too big for this little point. It's okay. Like no stress. Whimsical art is fun, y'all. Okay. Now, I'm gonna want some more shades and colors in here. Um, oh, Dina, thank you. You're so sweet. No, we're not supposed to. Facebook says, they tell us creators that if our content is good, if what we're doing is good, you guys will be compelled to do that on your own. So we're told not to tell you to do that, you know. Uh, plus, I'm sure they don't want us pressuring you and hassling you, you know, it's probably part of it. Um, but hey, I'm like, these are my friends. If you, you guys are showing up for me, I consider us friends. Um, so I, you don't have to, of course. Nobody says you have. But anyway, we are not supposed to say that. And um, I believe that they have those little bots that kind of catch things like that. I know they do if you type it, if I typed it or something. So I'm coming in with a different shade of green just to add some dimension and some fun. And just throwing this on here, very haphazard. It's almost like a dry brush, although my paint is not dry, but that kind of a look where you just go right over what you've done with that other color. And then I will come back into my dark green and do one more pass at it to kind of 
sort of blend those together. You see what I'm doing? But your brush is doing the work. That's why this is so easy for most people because you're just letting your brush do the work. You're just a little, remember how I drew it and I said, just consider it fingers. So just, thank you guys. Thanks, Anna. Thanks, Chris. Hi girl, how are you today? Um, Tina, Mary, thank you guys. Thank you, Sherry, bring on the stars. <laughs> I don't have a song. Well, actually, Charlotte Nelson was on here one day, and somebody else, I, I don't remember if it was, um, let's see, who was it? There was somebody else who said it at the same time, uh, do the, you know, stars at night are big and bright, and I was like, that's it, that's got to be my song, but I don't sing. I sing terribly, and I don't know why, because I really wish I could sing, but I might have to eke one out if I make it okay so there's our there's our little palm branches Chris do you have a busy week we had so much fun this weekend guys if you missed it go get in the virtual home decor marketplace and watch the guys who painted or, or not painted but who um crafted oh my goodness it was so fun uh, terry burton had an event in there and it was justin kraus with the crafty brother it was beth's husband randy oh i forgot inside the you guys let me forget it was beth beck's husband randy with rekindled blessings and then chris hunter's husband bruce with creating with chris hunter oops not green Hold up, hold up. That needs to be blue. Anyway, I can't talk and paint, obviously. Uh, they all did crafts. And then there was another one. Thanks, April. Uh, designs by Dustin. Des Dustin, is that right? Designs by Dustin, I believe. And he was ill, I believe, and, and was not able to go on. So at the last minute, I stepped in. Now, you know, I love helping out my sisters when they need it. But I was in over my head in that little event because I had no time to, um, you know, really prep. It was just get in there and do it. But I had a lot of fun. It was just a fun day to watch everybody. Thank you, guys. It's okay if we don't make it. Don't worry. Oh, no. I'm so sorry. I worried about that last night. We made, y'all made it. Thank you. How sweet of you guys. Awesome. Thank you. 1300 Y'all are amazing. Thank you, thank you. Y'all are so neat. Yeah, I worried about that last night. Um, being on your live, I heard y'all talking about it and just thought she should be. Yeah, that doesn't sound, if she's, well, I'm so sorry. We worry about our kiddos so much and, you know, hate to see them in pain. Chris, do they know, like, is it something that maybe she, is drinking, eating, you know how they say, I think, is it caffeine or Cokes? I don't know. Is there anything that they recommend to keep that from happening again? I know some people are just prone to them, I believe. I know, well, we are praying for her for sure. You guys lift her up. She's a young college girl and I don't know how she got through the last week of school, to be honest. That's rough. She's probably tough like her mama. Because we know Bruce is a baby. <laughs> you guys know I love Bruce. He, I'm just giving him a hard time. Okay, so we've got the little beak in. They don't know. And let, oh, okay, yeah, that makes sense. Well, I'm so sorry for her. Okay, let's get out a little bit of some pink for this little flamingo. I'm gonna move these over to the side so I don't, so I don't get them on me. I'm trying not to get this on my shirt. I actually had an apron out to wear and then didn't put it on. Mountain Dews, really? You know, and that's funny because college kids love Mountain Dew. I don't know what it is, but they drink it. For sure. I'm putting out a couple of pinks and I'll tell you guys the colors one second. Um, this is Carousel Pink by DecoArt. This one is Blush Pink. I love this color. I'm going to use that. I'm going to put out a little white. Uh, 
Oh, Susan, you do? Susan, have they told you anything that helps to avoid future? I'd be scared to death. That's what I'm thinking. Tell me what I need to do, you know, to not have another one. That's what I want to know. Okay, we're going to go back in and do, I'm going to use my same round number four. Thank you, guys. We got up to 60. Thank you, guys. I really want to get up to 100. That is my goal. Regina, are you seeing um, Mountain Dews or what? I can't, I, I wish I could uh, sit and read the comments with you guys. So I'm going to take this blush with a little bit of pink and I'm going to do, um, you know what? You know what I did wrong? I just realized I did this wrong. This part of this, this beak, part of this needed to be this blush pink and I just went right on in and did the whole beak black. So, we'll just do her head with this pink. And maybe when it dries, I'll go back and do... Don't y'all think the beak looks too long? I might come in and do some of this. I was going to do some of that with this pink. And I just... I'm telling you, when I am on here talking, I, I can't focus. I guess I have some adult ADD or something. And I'm upside down, so that doesn't help. <laughs> oh, thank you, Sue. I am Carol. <laughs> I am. Trust me. Now I'm going to come in here. I've got the blush and some white, and now I've added my carousel pink. And we're going to bring that in and just kind of bring it up into this area. Kind of blend it together. And then now I'm just going back with carousel pink and the blush, and we're going to work down the neck here. Kind of going around the beak. It's definitely a challenge to paint upside down, but I do this so that y'all can see it better. Until I get my nice fancy equipment set up someday <laughs> this will work for now i like these two colors mixed together for my flamingo i think it looks really good and i'll show you what i kind of do around here so now that i've got um, this going i'll switch into my big brush in just a second just kind of cleaning this up a little Oh, Mountain Dew, yeah. Oh, man. Well, and it's definitely the college student drink because it's got a lot of caffeine. So, maybe that will... I don't know if, if Addie drinks them, but maybe that would be an easy fix if that's what it is for her, you know. But I am quite sure whatever they tell her, she would do to avoid it. Again. Okay, now I'm going to go to a bigger brush and get some ground covered over in this body of the flamingo. Oh, thanks, Deborah. Carol, I usually do my own drawings and then I make a tracer from the drawing. So I did up today, I just sat, sat and sketched it out. Um, super easy, you know. I like to show you guys how to do it because it really can be broken down into, and I'll, if I can hurry and finish, I'll show you an easy way to do that. So I'm dip, doing the same thing with my hot pink and my blush and just gonna kind of get this covered with those colors pretty quickly. And then we'll spend some time making it prettier. But just to get this base on here. I'm glad y'all have uh, knowledge on that kidney stone thing. I'm gonna go back and read all of this. And I feel quite sure that Chris has done all that research too. But I, 
I know a lot of people that have had them and just say it's so horrible. Well, my husband's had them. And, but, you know, with guys, you wonder if they're just being a little overdramatic. You know what I mean? Um, so when you know when a, a woman has one and they're suffering, you know it really is. You know it's really painful. Dr. Berg. Oh, Anna, thank you. Okay, and for you girls that follow me all the time and know I love glass art, picture this with lots of glass. I mean, wouldn't that be gorgeous? Okay, so now I'm gonna go back and grab my round brush again. Oh, thanks, Roberta. I just love it. I love painting. I love the art community, crafting community. I love to show you guys how easy it can be. Um, it can be intimidating, but it doesn't have to be. If you will allow yourself to try the fun, whimsical art, then that's where it frees you up. It's no longer stressful. Okay, so we're just going to come in here and make some feathers with our hot pink. Again, what am I doing, y'all? I am letting the brush do the work. So just popping it down. You just want the appearance of feathers. When you look at this, you'll know what they are. I'm gonna come into my blush and do kind of the same thing. I did a design similar to this on a Lazy Susan last year and loved it. I don't even use it for my crafting. I have stuff on it, but um, it was just such a fun one, and I really thought I would use it outside, you know, because I, I like to be outside, but it's so hot that I end up never using it, so I'll just leave it in here. And then I like to just kind of come up the neck with my, with my brush and let it kind of Fill that up a little bit. Y'all like it? I see hearts. Thank you for the hearts. Um, I might not today though. I mean, not live. I won't do it live. Uh, just because I won't have the time. Let's see, I started at 11, 15, so at 12. Oh, gosh, y'all, it's almost 12. See, I'm, I'm just, I'm in my own little world when I'm painting, for sure. I just really can get so relaxed. Okay, so let's do a couple of quick, quick things. So take the back of your brush, dip it in your white, and we're going to make an eye. So white first. Then I'm going to take a smaller brush and dip it in, where's my black? Some black. We can do this, guys, we can do this. Thank you for sprinkling. Now we've got up to 79, so I'm super happy for you guys doing that for me. Put a little black dot there for the eye. Um, we. The only other things I would do is come in and do some highlights, you know, here and there, because you, you want some, and I'll clean this up after I'm done here and kind of make it look better and post a picture. But, you know, come in here and add some white like this. I would definitely add some white in the, in the, I start to say swan, in the flamingo. So, I'll show you guys a picture in a little bit and you can see what I've done. But, I'll blend this out a little bit. Put one down the nose right here. And really, that is about it. I mean, simple you can do this you guys can do this it looks like i have one minute is that what you guys see thank you tana so let me show you really fast right here on this paper so all this is yes ma'am it'll be on replay is you make a v for the beak right and then i made a another v right here i made a circle right here and then just your little squiggly to, and then you know just the body so when you break it down this way you see a circle a circle a uh, a v 
a little spaghetti noodle. Break it down that way, and anything you look at, you can paint. Just break it down. Guys, follow me for more. Just click on the screen, hit the button, and choose follow, and then check your settings to be sure you are, because I want you to get in my Alzheimer's event. Help me spread the word. We can do this. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you for every star. Thank you for every sprinkle. And go watch the rest of the creators in the Craft Around the Clock group today. Have a great day, guys, and have a great week. Bye.